Marco here from uh, Fair Realty with a market update for May 2019. Kind of a mixed bag of numbers. Uh, sales, we finished the month at 848 sales. That was up from the previous year of uh, 755, so a 12% increase. That being said, last year had a big drop compared to the year before. So the previous year, we had 755 sales, which was down from over 1,000 in 2017. So sales have finally stabilized a bit. I wouldn't say they're great, but uh, they're stabilizing. However, inventory for the first time in years has gone over 3,000 listings. The last time we had more than 3,000 active listings was 2015, so it's been years. So with increased uh, listings, there's obviously more inventory, there's more choice for uh, buyers, and there is a lower sense of urgency. And that's being reflected in the prices. I'm looking at the prices. The actual, the average price for a single family home in Victoria this year is running at 863,000 year to date. That's down from 908,000 last year. So down almost 5% for single family homes. And condos, they're holding up a bit better. Condos are down 1.1% uh, for the year. So despite the 12% improvement in sales, there's more new listings coming to market, inventories building, and it's put slight downward pressure on prices, which means if you're a seller and you want to sell, you really have to price uh, competitively because buyers simply have uh, more choice. Um, tough to say what happens going forward. Are we going to see a trend of year over year increases for the rest of the year? I kind of doubt it. I think in June we might see a bit of a year over year increase from last year, but I think come July and August, I think we're going to be back into negative territory in terms of year over year uh, percentages. Kind of an interesting year. We started the year at uh, substantially below the previous year, and now we're, we're kind of slightly, uh, slightly above. But Throughout the, these variations, one thing is constant is that inventory is continuing to climb. Uh, so we're back into a balanced market at this point that's no longer favoring buyers, no longer favoring sellers. However, if inventory continues to rise, then eventually we're going to get into a market that's uh, favoring uh, buyers. That's it for this week. Marco Jurassic Fair